What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the books I'm reading in June for the Queer Lit Readathon and Readorama. The shirt I'm wearing right now is in honor of Pride Month and you can't see it because I'm short but here it is. We have my new shirt from Gay Pride Apparel. I don't have any affiliate with them. I bought this on my own but I love their company and if you're looking to support LGBTQ plus owned stores this month I'm going to link them down below. I love all of their prints because they're subtle. I'm not someone that wants to have like flashy clothes that say I'm trans so I really enjoy this. It's a very soft shirt and I love the Patagonia colors. This was my favorite print so I just wanted to shout them out before I got into my video. I also want to mention a event that's coming up from June 11th to the 13th here on YouTube. It is the Pride Book Fest. It'll be linked down below. There's a bunch of panels from LGBTQ plus authors. I just wanted to mention it in case you haven't heard of it. Now onto the books. Both of these readathons overlap and are happening in the same week. Readorama starts on Sunday, June 5th, and the Queer Lit Readathon starts Monday, June 6th, and they both end on June 12th. So I was able to use both bingo boards to work my TBR into both of these readathons to show it's possible to participate in both if you would like to. If you haven't heard of Readorama, this is a readathon I've been co-hosting with Chloe from Burnett Bibliophile and Kathleen from For the Love of Books, and all of the information for all of these readathons will be linked down below, including all of our announcement videos. For Readerama, we did set up a story graph page where you can track your reading, so that will be linked down below. First up on my TBR is the group read for Queer Lit Readathon Freshwater by Quake A. Mezzi. This also works for the Readerama Water Challenge, Rama, and Disability Rep. I read an article where Quake A. Mezzi says that this has dissociative identity disorder and is also a memoir. Freshwater could work for the memoir prompt, but I'm going to be reading Love is an Ex-Country by Rhonda Jar. This was sent to me by Soft Skull Press, and it is about a queer, fat Muslim woman who is going on a road trip. This also fits the religion prompt and summer vibes as I associate road trips with summer. Next, I'll be reading Final Draft by Riley Redgate for the challenge M Spec and Underrepresented Identity. This has pansexual representation. I've only read Seven Ways We Lie by Riley Redgate, and and I'm excited to read more of her work. Then I have my most anticipated release of the year, Off the Record by Cameron Garrett. Last June I read her debut, Full Disclosure, and it is one of my favorite books, so I feel like it's going to be a tradition to read her books every June. I am so excited for this. It is going to fit the prompt intersectional, and I'm using it for the Choose Your Own prompt, and I am changing that to 2021 release. The main character is a Black bisexual girl in This Is Own Voices, and for Readerama, it fits the challenge favor genre because it's contemporary. This book is all about the music industry and I am just so excited to read it. It'll probably be the first book I read. Then I have Johnny Appleseed by Joshua Whitehead. I have heard nothing but great things about this. It is written by an Indigenous author and it fits the challenges hard-hitting contemporary and not set on your continent. I'm pretty sure this is set in Canada because the author is Canadian. For Readerama, this fits the challenge BIPOC author and LGBTQ plus rep. Next, I have a poetry collection. This is Nature Poem by Tommy Pico. This was a recommendation I found in Bear's video, Reading Like Yogi with a Book, so I'll be using it for the recommendation prompt and shorter than a novel. And for Readerama, this fits the prompt's different format and backlist. And last, I'll be reading The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, and this has a trans superhero and I was so excited when I found this. It is for the superhero prompt for the Queer Lit Readathon. I did a lot of research because I wanted to read a graphic novel or a comic and I ended up finding this Marvel comic that has a trans superhero. I am so excited. He is Asian and it just sounds so great and I really hope I like it. I want to like it so much. I love Marvel so I believe that I'll like it. I was so excited when I found out that information. I'm loosely adding Anna on the Edge by AJ Sess to my June TBR. Unrelated to any of these readathons because I don't think I'm going to be able to read four novels in a whole week. <laughs> so this is just added to my TBR hoping to get around to it in June. I'm also going to be 
be taking a little break from secret TBR videos this month just because I need a break, but I'll be posting another game controls my TBR like my Sims video, so look out for that. And if you missed my writing update, I'm going to be reading Save the Cat Writes a Novel in June in preparation for July Camp NaNoWriMo. I'm going to be attempting to edit my hockey book and I'm so excited. So go and watch my writing update if you haven't and that is it for the books. So that's it for my June TBR. Let me know if you'll be participating in any of these readathons and what books you're excited to read. On June 9th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to be posting a live read-in for Readorama here on my channel. We'll be revealing a code word for the giveaway in our read-ins on Instagram and YouTube. So don't miss the chance to win $15 to Amazon or the book depository depending on where you live. I'm excited for Pride Month and a fun month of reading. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day and staying safe and I will see you next time. Bye.